Hey, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. I just wanted to wish you guys a good end of the weekend and kind of bring up something that's been on my mind regarding Joaquin Castro and his tweet with the donors or the Trump donors in Texas, I believe, San Antonio region, and how harmful that is to not only those businesses and business owners, but what it means for their families too. I mean, you know, he said, oh, well, I didn't put out, I didn't put their addresses out or anything. Are you kidding me right now? You put the business names out there. It's not real hard to look up where that business is if you really wanted to go do some harm like these left-wing Antifa nutjobs uh, might want to do. It, it's 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 irritating to me that he can just go on TV and go, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But, you know, t- put the shoe on the other foot and pretend if it was a conservative or a Republican that did that. Are you kidding me? That would be, you know, national news. It would be, um, you know, let's uh, fire everybody and, and let's uh, we'll, we'll put uh, police and security guards in those businesses to make sure that nothing uh, bad happens to them. <clears throat> You think that's going to happen with these business owners? No, not at all. This guy is just vindictive. It kind of reminds me of Joseph McCarthy in the 1950s when he was going after communists. I mean, I, I know that's that's a that's a big difference. Uh, and Joseph McCarthy was a, a Republican <clears throat> from Wisconsin, but his target was communists. Did he go about it the right way? Not necessarily, but. Um, at least his target was just, it wasn't um, somebody from a, another political party within the United States. It was an enemy of the United States during the Cold War. What Joaquin Castro and his little brother, Julian Castro, are doing are doing is just atrocious, and it ticks me off. Um, I mean, think about the safety of the family. I mean, these, these, these business owners, they're not just owners of business. They're, they're family members. They have kids and wives and whoever else that are now being put in harm's way because this asshole thought it was cool to put it out there. Yes, is it, yes, it is public knowledge. I understand that. But for him to put it in a tweet, a directed tweet, <coughs> excuse me, um, that, that, you know, people are, they weren't really looking for Trump donors, but now this guy put in a tweet, there it is, these are your Trump donors in San Antonio area. Could somebody find out who a Trump donor is? Of course. Could somebody find out who a Bernie Sanders donor is? Of course. But we don't go around doing that. We don't just let it all hang out and say, hey, look, that guy, over that business over there, he supports Bernie Sanders. I suggest you boycott him. Are you kidding me? No. That's not up to you to tell me what to do. I don't really care what business um, donates to who unless they make it a big political statement. Um, If they're going to make political statements as a company, and I don't agree with them, then I won't buy their products, such as Nike, Starbucks. Those companies, I I won't even go in anymore. I'm sure there's others, but I can't think of them right now. Um... But, you know, I don't really care. If someone's going to give money to Bernie Sanders, I don't care. And they want to, like, a donut shop or something, I'll go buy your donut. Don't make it political. I, I, you know, I don't really care um, who you support. Let's have a conversation about why you support that person. Um, but for Wa- uh, Joaquin, I want to call him Joaquin Phoenix, for Joaquin Castro to out all these companies is completely wrong. And I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. What, what do you guys think about this? Is it wrong? Is it right? Um, is it a mistake, as he put it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and uh, let's start a conversation. So, hope you guys have a great night. I need to go do my one last night of food cooking at the campground for my wife's family's campground. And uh, hope you guys have a, a great evening. And always remember, stay on the right side. Talk to you soon.